this rain isn't cute at all welcome back guys to another vlog this is going to be a realistic evening routine slash spend the evening with us um it is raining it's like 5 45 we're done work and it's raining so y'all see the rain it was raining really bad like well worse than what i just showed you guys and we don't know if the power is going to go out or not because our lights have been flickering so we are about to make dinner let's go make dinner and then i think i'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning so yeah that's just what we're gonna do this evening so if you like that kind of content or just want to see what i'm up to subscribe let's first thing we need to do is laundry Alright, so while the laundry is going, I'm going to go ahead and make dinner and I think we're going to just do some burgers because I don't want to eat the leftovers that we had from yesterday. I have a little bit of ground beef. I originally was going to do eggplant parmesan, but burgers are easier for tonight. The other thing that I can make is like pot I can make zucchini pasta maybe I should do that instead you guys all of my zucchini went bad I'm just gonna do the eggplant recipe that I was thinking of doing yeah that's what we're gonna so, do so Here's the seasoning we're going to be using for the meat. We're going to have onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, pink salt, ground nutmeg, and some chicken seasoning. Yes, chicken seasoning in your beef. Yeah, it tastes good. Let's start seasoning. That's how it's supposed to be. For the recipe. 
Ó, peraí, tem um pouco mais de carne moída aí. Carne moída, como? É? A casca também é? Epa, também é tudo? Não, como você é a casca? Bom, exato. Would you crush the crush? <laughs> Tell me what you think. Pray first. I'm going to put this. Yeah, I'm a firm believer of the, that Jesus did everything. Okay. Why would I use your cooler? Cooler? I don't know. We know what this is. Interesting. Yeah. I taste the cheese. Oh, hot. It is hot. That's oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's good. But we need to put, put the leave this thing sitting like this thing is mad. It's hot. Well, it's so good. Yummy. I said it's good. They can't hear you. It's yummy. How they cannot hear me if it's recording? What if the sound is bad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. So it's the next day after work. I decided to go ahead and clean out my fridge because it was much needed so here I am just showing you guys my routine I take every single thing out of the fridge and make sure there's nothing left and then you guys will just see my cleaning process so this is a part of what I do after work um, it's very hard trying to balance everything so I just try to do my best to maximize the time that I have after work in between making dinner um, and in between YouTube just so that I can also clean my area and clean my home. You guys would have seen this egg storage container in my last productivity weekly vlog. Uh, I did pick it up from Home Goods, I believe. So check out your local Home Goods, or you can order it on Amazon as well. And then here I am, just trying to organize the fridge. You guys are gonna be seeing me changing this a couple of times until I get it to my liking. Comment down below and let me know how do you guys usually keep your fridge organized, or if you guys have any tips for me. Get in a something saying on his balcony. Oh, yeah, we both have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long. We don't even get along, but the world just fell apart uh, straight out of the blue. So, in my mind, I whisper, Chow, and I take myself to Tuscany, Italy. Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah. Warm wind blowing, and birds are singing in cypress trees. All right, you guys, so here's the finished result. I had some more containers, so I decided to just put everything in containers. I think it looks so much better having everything organized this way. Let me know what you guys think. Again, these containers are all from Home Goods, and everything just looks so much nicer and much more organized. I really love it, so I'm so glad that I took the time out to do this. clean my fridge I am moving on to making dinner so for tonight's dinner I made just like butternut squash with some stir-fried beef because we are on keto in case you guys haven't watched some of my other videos make sure you go check those out where I kind of explain uh, keto and then also show you guys some of my other keto meals that I've made so that's pretty much what I'm doing just making dinner now
So I didn't show you guys meat during the cooking process, but it was pretty much just stir fried beef with fried eggs, butternut squash, and salad for dinner that night. So let me know if you guys want me to recreate it or if you guys want the recipe and I can always give it to you guys. Now I'm just going ahead and folding the laundry from last night that you guys had seen me put in. So I uh, did dry the towels. I just forgot to take it out of the dryer. So here I am the next day folding it and just getting everything organized. And of course my husband is in the background playing on his gaming computer. All right, you guys, so please excuse the noise. I have the washing machine going because I'm doing laundry all the time now. Um, but I'm about to make some banana bread just because we have bananas that are going bad. So I'm gonna make banana bread before we end out this evening vlog. So this is pretty much two days of you guys spending the evening with me. And this is gonna be keto banana bread. So let's try it out. <laughs> So you guys, the major difference with this banana bread is that instead of using, um, instead of using regular flour, I use almond meal flour. I just put a tiny bit of regular flour, but I mainly use almond flour for this. So that's the main difference with this recipe. I found it on Pinterest. So let me know if you guys want me to give you guys more detail, but I'll try to remember to link the recipe for you guys below.